without further ado, episode 4, turning out goodbyes. Yes. Where were we again? At Right at the beginning of the last episode. It's been what? 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And yep, there it is. It's Edgeward. Did he do it? Something tells me that he didn't do it because of his face. He's like, oh, I can't believe this happened. What can it... What can this all mean? And by the way, I did the voices because I don't know if you remember it, but on the last episode, uh, we actually saw this. We saw this happen. Anyway, let's go. Hey, hey, Nick! Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Yeah, why? <laughs> Dad, Nick! Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stay under, preferably a freezing one. Huh? Oh, is that part of your sp spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. No, darn! Sorry, but them's the breaks. Could you just take a cold shower or something? <laughs> it's not the same thing, Nick. Oh, maybe it is. Well, so much for rushing spring waters. Next thing in the news. A large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are, carrying, are, call, uh, locals are calling it Gordy. In a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. <laughs> Boring. I hate the news. Can they show real news for a change? Yeah, can they like show us murder news? That's my kind of news. It gives me work. Nick! Huh? The water pressure is kind of low in that shower. Why would they have a shower in the office? You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Is she gonna say good idea? Hmm, good idea, Nick! Wait, no! Apparently, Fey Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this... <laughs> this very important program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder! Murder?! My favorite kind of news! The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edwards. Miles Edward, age 24. Edward was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skills and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career as he threw it all away. <gasps> uh, Edward? What's going on? Edward would never do something like... Moida? Nick? Yipes, M -M Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? Good, finally! Now no one can stand in our way! You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I, 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 I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. All right, good, good. Let's go immediately. Let's immediately go to the detention center and say, we're, we're, we're gonna be your lawyer. God damn it, right. I don't want you to be my lawyer. You again, I told you to never show your face. Uh, how do you say it? Your face in front of me ever again. You know, Nick. 
We've all been here in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Don't be a pussy. Here he is. Ah! He just went. He just left. He sit down. He he sit down. He's like, hmm, it's right again. And he just left. I would rather be in jail. Hey, Edward, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when we were here? So, you've come to laugh at the falling attorney? Then laugh, laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have... Huh? We don't have so much free time, we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Mm. Yes, you do. <laughs> Actually, he's right. Yeah. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Oh, not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Okay, so let's talk to him. So, what the fuck happened? Edward, tell me what happened. Do it, man. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Kiss me? Duh! We're going to help you, that's why! Oh, oh, yes, of course. Help me, you... Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been, been in three trials. Hey! Sure you got lucky in one of three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you! Nick! Why am I always the one who has to get angry? You know, I've won three times, but all those three times it was against him. So I, I don't think you should be saying these things to me. The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices and the courthouse. Why are you down there? I see no need to tell you. M -m -m Mr. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really... Cordy. Huh? I went to see Cordy. Cordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. He went to see the Loch Ness Monster. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? I guess I need to present something to him. Edward, I don't know if you know, but I am an attorney. Your attorney's badge. Edward, let me defend you, man. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. Maybe if you come here without a shirt, that will change. What, what, what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. Whoa, whoa, what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. God damn it, Edward. Okay, then I'm going to the lake. And I don't know, maybe we'll find something. Maybe we'll find... I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, the murder was like in the middle of the lake, right? So what the hell can we find? Let's see. December 25, Gord Lake Park, entrance. This is where it happened! Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Quest <coughs> questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir, 
Nothing. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. The trial is tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, 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 sir. There aren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. Just should try saying that again. And I'll kick your ass. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Scamshoe can is scary today. Yes, he's being a man. Recruits. Puh. Mm -hmm. ah! Eek! Hey, you're the hairy guy. Hairy butts. What the fuck? What? Why can't he remember my name? He always thinks that I'm Harry. No, uh, what? Not Harry, Larry. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? Ah, and just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Um, uh, well, yeah, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want, pal. Bring it. Oh, good, perfect. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Andrew hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you 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 don't say. It's fine, man. It's fine. That doesn't happen in the anime, though. What? What doesn't happen in the anime? This Gumshoe being a hard ass to the recruits trying to find clues. Or Edward going, no, I don't want you to defend me. Uh, but let's see. So what happened? Detective Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay. Mr. Head in the Fumpy Pink Clouds will lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind. I'll tell you. It happened last night. About 15 minutes after midnight. <laughs> there, was a uh, there was a boat out on God Lake. In that boat, there were two men. One of those two men shot the other with a pistol. Uh, <clears throat> and the shooter was Mr. Andrew? A couple arrived on the scene and arrested him. Immediately. The cop is fired. I fired him on the double. How did he get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. A witness? When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Who is this witness? I'm gonna ask for the witness. Who was this witness? Uh, sorry pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up uh, at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out in the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being true. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, oh it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting from me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa, not me. Uh, hmm. Well, Edron. You don't think Mr. Edron is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. But you're right! Who cares that the witness says? What the witness says? I care. Hmm. You really believe him? <clears throat> you really believe in him, don't you, detective? Cause I do! But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really ta taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edward has been to us, how to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side? Well, at least you are, a, you are, detective. At least you are. <laughs> Poor Edward, man. He, he doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve this. The first request. I, 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 is it true? No one will take Mr. Edwards' case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended if you defended him and lost, your reputation be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey pal! Don't let, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too! Remember the two subway case? 
Mr. Edward helped you get your kind to declare innocent. It's true. Edward, that, that's a, that's a hundred percent true. Edward actually helped us. I I know. I went to Edward. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially, especially not us. He said. What? Wait, 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 but that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He got saying white, 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 over and over and over, and how much he loves you. I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. He loves me? What do you mean? Why wouldn't he want your help? <laughs> I don't get it. That is Gumshoe, sir. Whoa! Find something! Um, no sir, not yet. But, there was a call from the prison. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? What? I'm off. Oh, sorry pal. I guess you are. I gotta go. <laughs> Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? Um, the autopsy report? I guess. They must have a body, right? Yeah, they, they have to have a body. Well, yes! Do you have any information on the victim? They don't have a body? Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say, if you got the time, stop by the preaching. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk about with you? Well, he just said it. Go to the Princeton. Phoenix is so dumb sometimes. Ah, wait. Uh, here, I'll show you how to get to the Princeton. Come, come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received. I thought that the place where we, where we want to talk to our clients was the, the Princeton, but I guess not. Oh hey, Detective Gamshoe! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, we'd like to take a look around the, in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Good. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get the investigation. Alright, so let's see. Immediately, let's see what's going on here. Design, this place is full of families, pic picnicking on... Dude, look at this whole area. Look at the trees. The trees are all dead. Hmm? But no waterfall! Not many picnickers come here for a spiritual training, Maya. Mm. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. It's a graveyard? <laughs> yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. Mm -mm. Stupid birds. I hate these loud birds. Why are they so loud? Shut up, birds! Nah, but birds are cool. Birds are cool. They are really cool. Uh, okay, let's continue. The samurai dog, it seems. Samurai dogs! <laughs> Hot dogs, nice. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey! Look at that snack stand! The samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. Uh, okay, so let's see, what's going on here? Look, it's Christmas. A hot dog stand, it's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dog. Somebody needs to redecorate. What? I, I like it. I think it's nice. Look, it has like the Christmas thingies up here. The Christmas other thingy here. I don't know, I like it. What's this? Huh? Someone left some poppers here. In... You know, you pull the string. Oh, oh shit, it, it wasn't Phoenix, it was Maya saying that. Yeah, he pulled the string and poof! 
And it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You've seen them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick! They might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. I will take them. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Oh, she already stole them. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. Yeah, no shit. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. Mm, anything in the trash? The trash can is empty. At least the well place. Eh, at least the place is well maintained. Mm. Huh? I almost didn't see that signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. Mm. Wow, Gord Lake is really big! Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh! Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Wow! No way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, conversation over. Mm, I guess we can go to the boathouse, right? Let's see. There you go, boat rental shop. December 25! Nick! What is this place? A boat rental shop. Close for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place huh? on one of the boats won't, uh, won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on, on one when the trial is finished? I actually rode a boat, like a long time ago when I was a kid. My uncle Zé at the Ribatejo once, like, he, he had a, a rowing boat and he took me on a, a boating trip. It was kind of nice. Hey, good idea! You bet! Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. Probably closed because it's, it's Christmas. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Of course, of course, Nick. <laughs> Nick! Huh? I changed my mind! I don't really want to go on a boat ride! Why? Oh, because of the murder? Don't worry, I'm not gonna murder you. I'm innocent. I'm a lawyer! I'm not a murderer. There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'll find a way... Huh? Any helpful clues in there? Mm. Can I go inside, maybe? Maybe I can knock. Knock, knock. What? I can do anything? Huh. Well, let's go back to the princess. Maybe they will have an autopsy report or something. Oh wait, I can go to the wood. What the hell? All right. December twenty-five, Gord Lake. A picnic. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. You know, isn't this person like the, the witness? The person camping here? He or she might have been the witness, right? Hmm, let's see. Hey, Nick! What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no! I was just wondering why are, why are camping pots and pans made of al aluminum? Aluminium. Hmm... They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So, there's no law saying they have to be made of aluminium then? I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> there's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. I know, right? Who the hell would camp in the middle of winter? That would be crazy. The sign says no camping. <laughs> well... Whoever our witness is, he's a criminal. Funny place to pick a pitch to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? What? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh! This SUV has been I've seen better days. It's dead all over. 
I can't believe anyone would drive their own their car down here. Mm -mm. Aha. Okay, there there has to be a picture, right? If there's a camera pointing at the the river at the lake, there has to be a picture. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Oh! Wow! Cool! Let's try it out. Ka! Ka! Hi, I'm Nick. Oh, she's, she's, she's trying to speak at the, the camera thingy. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Huh? <laughs> I'm Nick! Will you stop that? What the fuck's wrong with you? Maybe it's broken! You're broken! Don't kick it! Maybe it is set to... Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? What? Holy shit! Well, it responded! Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh, damn! What voice am I gonna give this person? Get your hands off of that! <laughs> Eek! <laughs> What in the same hill? Look what you're done now! There goes the whole roll of film! Damn! Uh, sorry! Sorry is nice, but it don't but it don't pay my my bills! Y'all know how much a roll that the film costs! I I will pay you back! What are y'all thinking signal of the party poppers in a place like this, huh? Um well uh, What? Don't try to play it stupid with me just because you think I'm a some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know you all, young, young tanks. I say the certain folks who talk to with an exaggeration draw, why did it must be your dumb? <laughs> well, let me tell you, just because it might be all dumb, don't mean we all, we all are. Nick, <laughs> help! And who are you now, huh, Chaperon? Uh, yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Yeah, just figure out y'all who are gonna say but then say that the bejesus must say. <laughs> God, I'd rather see true to the popper drawl than, than listen to the star drawl day. Eh? Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Water! Yes, ma'am. Uh, on second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. <laughs> She's angry, look at her. <laughs> what happened? Um... Come on! Can't you see I'm taking the film with my camera here? Some of them are not having any, any, any of the names, but some of them are used up to the whole row. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm having fun doing their voice. Sorry! That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. I do have one. Oh, wait a minute. Objection! Take that! Ah, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't the bats about to be in a tiny shiny and a pressure in a copper or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. But, 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 Y'all ain't gonna try and pull me on a damn lawsuit on me over that film now. Cause I love you now, y'all know the, the bats are about to a fighter and I'm wrestling and made no look in the things with you. <laughs> no, no, no! That's not it at all! I can't believe I, I understand what she's saying. We're here in, in, in. We're investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder! Sounds cool! What did you all say in the, first, not in the first place? Go ahead and ask me anything you like! Finally! Some corporation! You too! Y'all come around and we're finding her hiding now! I won't bite hard! Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry! I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed, the culture gap and all. I don't understand what she's saying. Never mind you, honey, I kind of talk like Yanka for our you if you have if you please. Thanks, I think I'll be okay. I don't, I still didn't get what she said. Great, then, I'm Lauda, Lauda hard, but y'all can call me Lauda. I'm here photographing me at your shower for a research project. Might I please meet you? Good, well, there you go. We made a new friend. So what happened? Oh yeah, when when <clears throat> oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen my television lately. Well, it happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. Heard that on Christmas Eve. A man on the boat was shot. 
Did you see anything? Well, let me show you. About what you say? I reckon I might have seen one, not sure though. Y'all gotta remember I've been watching these here late for a good three days now. I seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I seen when. Uh, well, tell me about yourself. So, what is it that you do, Lotta? Huh, me? <laughs> Y'all don't really know. Don't, huh? Y'all don't really know, want to know what? What? Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Of course. Of course I do. You seem like a, a fine person. Actually, I'm a researcher student according to you, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at the university, country you! Uh, yeah, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Um, let me see, I guess it was about three days ago. And why are you photographing? She already told you that, Nick. Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors, yep, meteor showers. Falling stars! That's quite a camera you have there! Y'all better know it. It's a German made, a genuine Solingen. Isn't that where they make knives? Um. So, what's that device you have stuck on the camera? Oh, device. Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that. That might trigger the shutter whenever it detects a certain sound. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable, a programmable camera? Neat! Lotta's camera added to the court record. Alright. Well, that's it. Unless I can present the camera, set to automatically take a picture. Yeah, let's see. Why? Why, why is she doing this? Lotta? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? I am. Uh... Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol. Right, now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? Hmm, I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hmm. Hey, y'all pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. I'll tell you what, well, huh? I'll tell you what, I'll have a look she at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them down. But if I got it stumped something, I could be the witness to a genuine murder. Yahoo! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Cool, well, there you go. I guess now we need to go... Oh. She went inside the, her SUV. I guess you could come back later. Yeah, let's go talk to Gumshoe, see if we get a, an autopsy report, and then we'll come back here and get the photo from her. Something tells me that it's gonna it's not gonna be that easy, and she's not gonna give me anything. But we'll see. Criminal Affairs Department. December 25, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. I guess that the gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished a meeting! For better or for worse. I got a feeling that we're for some bad news. So, what happened in the meeting? So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. Is it true? What? 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 Yeah, I'm a lawyer. We should be working together. Police and lawyers work together. <laughs> so... <laughs> Alright. You know... I don't know what I do believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edward's human, Edward's human like you or me. Still, I got the feeling that if we'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edward did it? Well, the trial start, huh? The trial starting tomorrow as scheduled. As scheduled. I see. Hmm. Um, hey, in the end you did tell us about the meeting. Mm. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Please. E yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgewood. He needs help. And you're the one who, to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. The 
Thanks, Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> Trusting Edward! Detective Gumshoe! How come you trust me to Edward so much? Well, I think I... I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edward always gets his defenders declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get to the, to get to the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edward is a man you can trust. And you have my... <coughs> and you have my word on that. Okay, so who the fuck was the victim? Once and for all. So, tell me about the victim. Uh, do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can ID him. Has Mr. Edward said anything? Not a word. And what about the autopsy report? I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Oh, nice! Time of death. Sometime on the 24 or 25, cause one bullet shot to the heart. I was muted, and I was just, <laughs> I was just singing, Shot to the heart, and you're to blame. Darling, you give love a bad name. Doo -doo. Nick! Nick! Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Who's this? That face! Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Who could it be? Um. Oh, let me present the, the thing. The, the Lotus camera. Hey, Gumshoe. Sorry, I'm doing a blank right now. <laughs> okay. Well, he's very useful. Let's go back and talk to Lotta. Maybe she will have the, the picture ready for me, right? And then I can show the picture to Edward. And then Edward's gonna be like, Oh, right! God damn it! So you're investigating my... My case! I told you I didn't want any... Any part of it! Okay, December 25, let's see. Hey, y'all! Lana! What up, Zach? I got a bad bingo! The bad bingo? <laughs> what? My automatic camera took two pictures last night! Hey! This is damn, take a look! Wait! See, see, he's shooting him with a pistol! It, it, it looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell... <laughs> but you can't really tell who that is shooting! Yeah, that is true. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night struggling at the bullfrog. But you know... Seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Oh my god, she's gonna testify against Edward. Uh, are you serious? Of course! How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Um, you know what? I, I guess so. I reckon so. Well, she is a... Well, she didn't see the crime, right? She just saw the photo, but there you go. Watch that! No, don't y'all go trying to mock my action. <laughs> I'm a sensitive lady. <laughs> nice. I think I got the voice just right. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. <laughs> Later. Wait, wait, wait! Lada! Oh, she came back. What? Can y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey, but I was born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. 
I too don't eat this outside of the northbound stock skunk and then to tell you. What the fuck? What did you just say, Nick? Louder! Don't let it get your skimmies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. I hate Lada. I like voicing her, but I hate her. She left! Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Link photo added to the court record. Hmm. Maybe now I can show this to, to Gumshoe? Gumshoe will be like, Oh, goddammit, you have a, a proof against Edgeward? You're under arrest, Mr. Mr. White. Mr. Howie. Looks like the police have given up on their interviewing. Could it be Gumshoe? Gumshoe came back? Hey! Huh? What the? Ah! Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no- Ho ho ho! Long time no see, Nick! Who's this? Nick! You know Santa? Wow! Nick and Saint Nick! Hey, I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous! Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, dude, it's me! It's Larry! <laughs> Larry! What are you doing here? Hey man, isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job! I sell samurai dogs, what what? Gotta get money for days, you know? My girl's fiance deserves the best! Fiance? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianz is a fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that, that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. What the fuck is the Kianze? She bought this costume for me. That That's great, Larry. Good job. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Oh, cute. Nick, who is she? She's not your... Not my what? No, 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 she's not! She's underage, goddammit! I'm his partner, Mayfe! Mayfe! I'm, um, the little sister! Sister? Oh, wow, Nick, must be tough! Working 9 to 5, having to care of a little sister! No, 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 I'm not Nick's sister! I'm my older sister's little sister! <laughs> huh? Sounds great! Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. What? Oh my god, don't tell me he's gonna be a... Uh... He's not gonna testify, right? So what happened? Oh my god, he, he's, he's gonna be the, like the witness that the, the cops got, I bet. Uh, hey Larry! There was a murder here last night, and since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time! Last night was Christmas Eve! He was with Keonse, obviously! He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold! Oh. I think... <laughs> I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, 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 it's just... Kianza is not in town right now. She... She's in Hawaii! On a photo shoot! Oh my god, so she is a model. A model, I knew it! Well, anyway, there was a murder case here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Neat! The defendant is Edgeworth! Miles Edgeworth, man! He's our friend! Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles, Ed Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course! And he was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Tell me about your hot dogs first. Um, okay, but never mind that. Tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Well, why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look guard shaped. Oh, well, originally, they were guard dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch, that's horrible. The samurai thing was Kiyos' idea. 
Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all change your name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that better. Oh, oh, she's actually a, a nice lady. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What that? What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Yeah, Gordy. Okay, yeah, forget about Edward. Let's just talk about this other bullshit. Um, what's Gordy? Oh, huh? you mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy. A, a monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's r r really real. Is it? Giant life form appears in Gord Lake. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Excuse me. Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Mm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping in the water. I wish I could have seen it! Why would there be a sound like an explosion, though? Yeah, yeah, that's a, <laughs> all right, That's exactly what, what Phoenix just said. Or what well, he thought. Larry! Could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem! That would be one million dollars! One million dollars?! Grow up, Larry, you piece of shit. Get a job! Okay, so, let's go back talking to Edward. Oh, well, about Edward. So, um, Mr. Edward was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow! Wait! You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is the prosecuting attorney! What? Edgy's gonna pro. Uh, pro <laughs> what? What? Edgy's gonna pro bosis on his knee? What? No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney! Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, I understand why he, he said that. Okay, I was so confused. That's like a total opposite of a, of a defense lawyer! Oh, uh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about, about a man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Does he? Nick! I guess... I guess Nick actually does know, huh? Um... Well, I guess I need to go to the Brinkset now, right? I don't have anything to show him. Or maybe I do. Maybe I do, wait a minute. Maybe if I show him the autopsy report, because it says it's between the 24th and the 25th. Like, and say he was here, right? Yeah, let's see what he has to say. Hey Larry, you know this guy? Oh, uh, who's this? I don't know, that's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well... Oh wait, Maya said he, she had seen him before, didn't she? Well, all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't want to talk. Actually, I, I want to show him the picture. Since he was here, maybe he saw, he, maybe he saw someone on the, on the, on the lake, right? Let's see. Oh, what's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, it's the photo of, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? 
That's it? It doesn't say anything? Well, okay, fuck it. Let's go to back to the prince and, and let's see what Gumshoe has to say about all our evidences. Or maybe I should go talk to... Nah, never mind. Not a Gumshoe in sight! If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. Lot of hurt! It has to be! Uh-oh! Can I examine? Oh, I can! Okay, wait a minute. What is this? Hey, is that the police department mascot? That's the... <coughs> That's the blue badger! It was my idea! I made it! It's my mascot! <laughs> I, I see, how nice! I'll get him a signed mascot, huh? I'll get him a signed mascot of the Criminal Affairs Department! If it's the last thing I do! Um, good luck! Is this a thing in Japan? This must be the chief of detectives here! He's glued to his computer screen, probably playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> what? Gord Lake? Gordy sighted! I don't believe it! Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are the detectives, the de detectives desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desk. What about this guy? That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Move in the crowd. Wear cra cra grab clothes. Never enter the target's field of vision. We must be doing image training for trailing. Well, fuck it, let's go talk to Edward and say that he's fucked. Edward, you are officially fucked. I think one of the guys is playing on the PC. Yeah, no shit. Uh, okay, Edward, actually, before I do it, can I... Ah, there, there, there you go. Edward, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but, but Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. Ugh. But I don't want your help, okay? Mm, why not? Ugh. Look, just go away and leave me alone. I don't deserve your love. Nick! Mr. Andrew did it! Oh. Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick! He just went away. <laughs> where, where else can we go? Oh, just go back home. Alright. What is it? Oh! Nothing! Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Alright. Oh, she wants to see the picture. Hey! I, I I remember now! This? This guy! He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at! I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis! That office? Wait... You mean Grossberg's office? Oh no, I'm gonna have to voice Grossberg! Right, that guy! That was the last name I expected to come up! Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Oh my god, are we really, we are really going there, huh? Ugh, alright. I better take a sip. Voicing this guy makes me tired. Ugh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. You're my something, are you not? Something? What do you mean? I was her under I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix right. <laughs> and you? You're me as something too, are you not? <laughs> and little sister, yes! <laughs> you, you, you've grown! You've come to look at how a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm paying your bargain. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Yes, I want to discuss what happened. There was a murder last night. 
<laughs> you haven't heard? I just cut up, you see. <laughs> well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. <laughs> Edgeworth? <laughs> who, who, who did he shot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. <laughs> Terrible news. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Why am I talking about the painting? Mr. Grospers? What have happened to that painting? <laughs> oh, yes. I do not think I shall be ever coming back home to this office. What? Oh, it. I can't exactly claim it as totally. I suppose it's something just... My just desserts. Old bitter desserts. Okay, anyway. So, here. I have the autopsy report and I have the, the picture of the victim. <laughs> Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. <laughs> Did you remember? <laughs> he was a liar here in my office. That's Hammond. <laughs> Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond. And you say this is the man my head would shot? Yeah, yes. So, what do you know about Robert Hammond? Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond! He was the defense attorney in that case! That case? Yes, the TL6 incident! TL6? Why does that sound familiar? Because it was... People ta talked about it in the second case, I think? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder, exactly! But that was the incident where the police were so at loss they used the spirit medium! <gasps> Wait! Do you mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. That spirit medium missed the face. Your mother contacted the spirit of the medium. But that case was a loss. Not, not conviction, no conviction was made. Tell me more about this DL6 incident. Uh, the DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Mr. Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Mm. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? <laughs> yes, C -c quite. Thank you. No, 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 P -p please, D don't mention it. The DL6. Never thought I'd ever hear that name again. But wait! What does that have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the TL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. <coughs> but what? His father? Mm. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait! This is, this is a photograph of my mother! Miss DeFay's photo added to the court record. Alright, let's go! No, I'm not gonna present anything. Move! No, not examine! God damn it! Stop it, right! Let's move to the detention center and let's present this photo to Edward immediately. Let's see what he says. What's this? I was hoping you've gotten my message the first time. How many times are you gonna come into this small room? You know it gets me, you know, a little bit confused. Edward, <coughs> Edward, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. What about this? Take that! <gasps> <coughs> Edgeworth. It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet, you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you started on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident, man. 
Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refuse your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from the DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But... I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Good, finally. So, tell me about the DL6 incident. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. What? My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, the spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitation of... Huh? On the case runs out in three days. Whoa, what? What do you mean? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case stat uh, statute 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 of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Huh? Three days from now, the DL6 will be closed forever. The suspect. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can't understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Tell me about your dad, man. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was... Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow him in his footsteps. So why didn't he? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Hmm. I guess now I can present other things to him. Like the autopsy report, I guess. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. And what about the photo? Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. <laughs> right. Huh? It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want this you want us to defend you! Yes! Will you? Of course we will! And who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. <laughs> this is my chance to finally pay you back! Pay him back! Pay me back? For what? If you wanted to pay me back, you could have guessed me a long time ago, but you still refuse to do it. Why? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please, give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's request. Okay, good. Well, I guess we should... Huh? Well, what's that? An earth? What an earthquake? Nick, it's a big one! Wow! It's coming down! Oh shit! Phew! 
That was scary! Huh? Where's Edgeworth? What? What happened? There! He's on the floor in the uh, in the bowl, shivering! <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, please, no! Make it stop right! Please! I guess it doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done! Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick! All right, let's go! We have to give Edgeworth's title of request to Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> he's like the, oh, please, right, please, save me, save me, right. <laughs> and, and that cop is like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, shit. The cop is like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, move. I want to speak to, oh, no, not you. What the fuck? Wait, what? Nope, nope. Wrong, wrong place. I didn't want to talk to you. No way. Uh, the Criminal Affairs Department. December 25. Let's see. What's going on here? Eek! <clears throat> What's wrong, detective? What the fuck? This wow lady comes in here just a while ago. Say she came to talk to y'all. Huh? Shame t huh? Say she came to talk to y'all after hearing that. This is why she had to say. What is all about, pal? Lot of heart, that bitch! Why are you going around and finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, 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 not at all! What the... Just... I mean... She did say something... There's... Something I... Huh? There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Yay! You trying to say something about the way I do my job, pal? <laughs> no, sir! Okay, here we go! I have the thing right here! Let's go! Look! Look what look what I got! <gasps> hey! You did it, pal! Gotta wait until the last minute to fill those papers. To file those papers. I wiped them up apart and started new ones for all for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in the cut tomorrow then. Good luck, pal. <laughs> hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back. I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edward. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was pre a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow, trial. Lay up. All right. Hmm. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth in earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Maybe something happened when he was a kid and now he's like super scared of them. Then again, I only really got to know him in, in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued, hell yeah, we're going to see the trial. Fuck yeah, baby. The trial is the best part. And I still have one more hour of streaming, so yeah. With luck, I can complete the trial today. With luck.